Hey, this is Jenny Jones, Digital Growth Hacks Club. Hey, listen, wanted to give you uh, insight to six of the AI tools that I'm using to get things done in the 2023 year. But one of the things I wanna do is I wanna show you a new sneaky tool that no one's talking about. I don't wanna put you guys on to it right here in my channel, Digital Growth Hacks. Hey, if this is your first time to this channel, please go ahead and like and subscribe. I'm always doing these different hacks. Make sure you hit the bell because I'm always doing these different uh, types of um, different videos. Some of them have time limits, so if you miss out on the deals, then uh, it's unfortunate. So again, uh, I wanna show you these six tools. Let me show you the first one and the reason why I like it. One of the first tools that I like, uh, one of the first AI tools that I like is um, niches, right? What I love about niches, and I'm gonna take you through six different tools and what I love about each one. I'm not gonna make this detail um, of a detailed video, but I do wanna show you some, the nice aspects of them all. Niches is a tool that gives you a lot of different uh, frameworks here, AI, analogy, uh, brand name, author bio, and they have a large array and they're even doing some new different things. But one of the things I love about um, niches is they have this one framework, which I think is the best that I've seen anyone do it. It's, it's the LinkedIn networking outreach, right? When you click on that, you tell them something about, uh, tell them something about the person and what you, and what you um, want them and you'll write a good message to get conversation started. And what you do is you go look at a person's profile. You say, hey, we used to go to the, uh, UC Berkeley together, or hey, we went to this school, or we, we both have this in common, and it writes that for you. So they do a lot of different frameworks here, but this is by far one of the best ones that I've seen. And Niches has that. There should be a link in the description below. If you want to pick that up for a one-time one -time cost, that should work out well for you. The second one that I like, uh, the second tool, is PepperType, right? I don't know if PepperType is still available for a one-time deal, but they have a lot of framework as well, right? You can do a lot of different things here. You got blog conclusion. Uh, I like their meta. Uh, they have a meta uh, writer as well, but one of the best things that I like is their content rewriter. And a lot of times when I'm writing uh, copy for my websites, I'll drop it in here and it's I, I'll come up with it or I'll get it from another AI tool and I'll drop it in the content rewriter. By far, this is the best content rewriter there's out. So PepperType has that. So if you're looking for that, you'll find out in PepperType. Again, if you want that nice LinkedIn networking outreach, cold outreach, this is gonna make this warm up for you. They have a lot of them here, but that's the one that I like for that one. And again, PepperType content rewriter. It's got a unicorn on it because it magically just gives you this unicorn, unicorn rewrite for you. Um, one of the third ones, one of the third AI tools that I like is, uh, and there's a lot of writers out there. So we're good on the writers. I'm good on the writers, but these are unique tools that do a lot of and help you do some of the heavy lifting for some of the things that either one, you could create a service from or uh, two you can just use for your own websites. What I love about ScaleNut, ScaleNut is another one. ScaleNut, you can actually write a blog in five minutes on cruise mode, right? I may come back and do another video on that, but you just click on cruise mode and it writes the entire blog for you in five minutes or less. Um, so those are some of the things, if I can get up quick work or quick content in short order, that is one of the things. So that's what I like about ScaleNut, right? They have a lot of, <clears throat> They have a lot of different frameworks here. They do have a lot of frameworks. Um, some of them are a little bit uh, copycat. A lot of them seem like some of the other ones. Google headlines are pretty good as well, but I do like um, where you can put it on autopilot there. All right, when you can click and you can use the create a blog on cruise mode. So that works out good for that. Another one that I like to use is Write Sonic, right? Right Sonic has this one that no one else has. I haven't seen it. It's the real estate listings description. So if you're into real estate and you want to write these awesome listings, um, they have a good uh, listing tool here. You put the apartment type or price or uh, where it's located, and then you can generate uh, some of the content 
to kind of help you uh, fill out some of the other uh, things that you need to put when you're putting up a listing or if you're going to use it on a uh, Craigslist listing or something. Um, I think a right Sonic is good for using a lot of Craigslist uh, listings as well. Um, and then one of the newcomers we had talked about is Hello Scribe. Uh, I mentioned that there should probably be a link in there for that one as well, but they have this awesome tool. This is a little bit different. You're not going to see this anywhere else, right? They have, it's called brainstorm unlimited, right? When you can think of these different ideas, uh, crisis response, give me event ideas, right? Give me podcast ideas. You pump them in here. They're going to put them out, print them out for you. The, one of the one, the better ones that I use and I've actually demoed in the past before is media pitch how to pitch to different media outlets and they actually give you the media um how media like to be um pitched to they actually give you a template and or blueprint for that another very very uh good newcomer to this whole thing is um there's this tool called copywise right copywise is different i'm not going to show you a whole lot on this um there's more information coming on this, but what I will tell you is this, no, none of these other five that I've shown you and some of the other ones that I do have, uh, some of the blog ones that I have, I have a lot, I have maybe nine or 10, right? I have copy Smith. I have, there's so many that are out there, but none of them have what this one has, right? And this one is strictly um, marketing and getting into the mindset of knowing what people are going to do, right? So if you, I'm not gonna give you, there's some, there's some elements in here that uh, out of respect that I won't share unless you're actually a, um, a subscriber to this particular tool because there's some secret ingredients in here, I think. Um, but you have the angle generator, right? You have the short script builder. One of the things that I like is potential objectives. There's no other framework out there that's going to give you uh, potential objectives, right? Whatever a person may say, like right here, I put a potential objectives. I don't have enough time to watch uh, the shows consistently. This is for my retirement planning TV. And these are the, the potential objections they may have, right? And I and it, what it did is it helped me identify those. And I put those down so now I can answer those objectives and I can even use some of the other tools to answer them as well. So this is a young and upcoming tool. Definitely has a lot of uh, potential. See inside uh, CopyWise, they have what's called a strategy hub, right? And inside a strategy hub, I'm not going to get too much more detail in it, but let's stay at the, let's stay at the surface level of this where you have these different, uh, these five different areas here. Um, you know, and they help you go through what's called the Eugene Swartz, um, five levels of awareness, right? You, you have where people are just unaware of your, your product or service, right? Or they may be, you know, problem aware of it, or they may be solution aware of it, or they may be product aware or fully aware, right? And these, these three are break, broken down into different segments. And then these two are broken down in different segments. Cause if, if someone's unaware um, then you can use one of the other tools. You can come up with writing a hook or something like that. And then, or you may need to uh, define a good angle generation for it, right? How do I figure out what angle to approach someone who is unaware? So the, again, they have a strategy hub here. Don't want to get into the details here. Um, you do have cold audiences and different things like that, but this is good. I really believe for the marketing brain. And one of the powers I found with this tool is if I'm always thinking from the position of a creator, then I need to get into the mind of, of what the actual uh, clientele or my actual um, avatar is looking for. And I and this does a good job of breaking that down for you and have lots of tools for you to figure it out. These are different types of tools. These are marketing tools. And I think some of the other ones are writing tools to help you write a uh, good copy, but this helps you come up with good ideas on how to approach different uh, angles, right? This one I've seen in others, problem or goal agitation. I've actually seen that one 
in uh, niches. I think I've seen uh, the problem goal agitation. I have seen that one before um, in I think niches, but I haven't seen any one of these other ones. I definitely haven't seen writing the perfect hook and I definitely haven't seen uh, angle generator and a couple of the other ones, potential objections that people may have with your product or service. I've already used this. This is already playing huge dividends for me right now. So again, um, when it comes to this particular tool and it gives you call to actions, big promises and stories and different things of that nature. So again, wanted to just kind of give you an idea of what's going on. This is a very, very sneaky tool. When you guys get an opportunity, you might want to take a look, might want to pick it up. There is a link below um, that if you wanted to pick it up for a one-time cost, they have a one-time cost, it's killing right now. Um, so you might want to pick that up. I think they have one over at AppSumo. I'm not sure where else they may have it, but this is a good um, pickup. So any one of these, any one, you could probably still pick up, I think, uh, Pepper Type. Uh, I think you can probably pick that up. I'll have a link below if that's available. And you can also pick up Niches, which is doing a lot. Niches is, I'd like to say they're the OG. They have a lot of them. That's why you see so many uh, different frameworks here. And uh, you might can pick up, or oh, I think you still can pick up Hello Scribe for one time cost. All the rest of these are obviously probably not, no longer available um, if you want looking for a long term, um, a lifetime deal. But this particular one and uh, copy wise. All right, this has been Jenny Jones. Again, six tools that these AI tools, 2023, they're gonna be really be able to help you. One other thing I wanted to share with you as these particular tools change, right? I think a lot of the writing, I think some of the uh, Google and some of the other outlets are catching on to a lot of the AI writing, I think, but to get, this even has a dating profile you can use. That's why I said, this is the OG. This has a lot of them. You can write your course modules, your course name. Niches is sneaky good and uh copy wise is good hello scribe they're all good but i like to use them for different reasons and to do different things all right this has been jenny jones you guys take care goodbye for now